Ah, they smell peppery. They do uh, smell peppery. I'm also like, just I'm, sort of like psyching myself up. Like I feel like I'm sweating just on nerves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm right there with you. All right. Okay. Hey! Brother, and welcome everyone to a special edition of J versus Ben on this Thanksgiving, where we have indeed decided to feast. Yeah, these are the hottest wings we could find. We have a new, a new element to the J versus Ben. We do, which is not just—we're not really even just competing with each other anymore. We're now competing with these wings. With the wings. So once upon a time, we did the hardest Quidditch World Cup quiz and we did miserable. So we decided why not expand it out to just the rest of the book. And now this is our Goblet of Fire quiz with actual Goblet of fire e wings. So how it's gonna work is anytime Ben or I get a question wrong, we have to eat another wing from the goblet. This is the uh, the Blazin' Wing Sauce from Buffalo Wild Wings. Not a sponsor, but in case you're curious how hot it is, that's what we're dealing with. They're hot. They're hot. Let's do it! In case you guys are new to the J versus Ben format, this is how it is going to work. Our younger brother Tyler is on the other end of the camera. He's going to be reading us today's 15 questions, all of which have been submitted by our quiz masters over on Patreon. Doesn't make me feel good, Ben, because the quiz masters come up with the really tricky questions and there's a lot at stake today. There is, there, I mean, it's in my mind, so out of 15 questions, like I love Goblet of Fire. Me too. And I, so I'm, I am hoping that I have to eat no more than three or four of these. Yeah. So it's like I'm what I'm really I'm I'm not I'm 100% sure I won't get them all right, but I I I want 10 right. At least 10. This is one of those where it's like I feel so confident in my goblet of fire knowledge, but then I'm also like I don't think we've ever gotten 100% on anything before. Could you imagine if we went through all this effort and we just aced it? That'd be amazing. This is what we need. We need, you need, you need an edge. You need danger to really motivate you. Okay, yeah. let's, let's begin. Question one. Which of their joke sweets did the Weasley twins test on Dudley? Oh, okay. 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 Pretty sure. I feel, I feel pretty good. I feel pretty good about this one. Off to a good start. Okay, Ready? three, two, one. The Tun Tung Toffee. Tun Tung Toffee. That is correct. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Super duper. Super duper. I can I can smell the wings, and I feel like it's making me sweat just smelling them. Can you see my pulse like visually right now? Because <laughs> like, like a little nervous. I can hear it in my ears. Oh no. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, we're, we're fine. We're fine. Question two. In the book, who gave Harry gillyweed for the second task? Ooh. Okay. 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 This is this is calming me. Okay. Yeah. This is don't be fooled. Hang That's on. Good. Oh. oh yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. okay. <clears throat> Three, two, one. Dobbers. Dobby. Dobby and D. Dobsters. Excellent. All right, we're, we're two for two. Two for two. I actually, this was like the movie having Neville do it. There was at least something kind of cool about that because Neville's like really big into herbology. It, 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 it does make sense. Although it is a bummer that you don't see Dobby again from like Chamber to Deathly Hallows in the movies. True. Yeah. yeah. Didn't make it any less tragic when he died. No, it did not. That scene is very well done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I'm stalling. Question three. Who put up half their shares on their eel farm oh. for a week-long Quidditch World Cup match in a bet with Ludo Bagman? You know, once upon a time, I would have said this was the hardest question ever, but anymore, it's the one fact I for sure know about Goblet of Fire. Right, right? Yeah. Okay, three, two, one. Agatha Timms. It was Agatha, Agatha all, all along. along. Okay, actually a fun fact though, if you support us over on Patreon, we do have a quarterly t-shirt tier and for the most recent quarter, we have an Agatha Tim's Eel Farm T-shirt. Yes, we do. As the as the as the sign up. So if you if you like SCB merch and you would like things that are very specific to the inside jokes here on the channel, that is a very cool tier to, to sign up for. It's Patreon.com/slash Supercard Brothers. Question four: All included in their bet. What oh, no. did the Weasley twins bet Ludo Bagman that Ireland would win, but Crum would get the snitch first? Oh, no. I need their specific bet. Okay. Um, oh no. Oh no. I'm pretty sure this is the front amount. And I know this is the very last little kicker. And 
Oh boy. Oh boy. I have no idea. I, I got the trembles, you guys. Okay. Also, the entire team, <laughs> every member of Super Carlin Brothers is in the room. Right They're now. all rooting for us. They're all like, every single one of them is grinning from ear to ear. <laughs> They're right like, they've got, they don't have it. Okay. I hope that we both fail together, if nothing else. I'm going to change my bottom number one more time. I'm, I'm all over it. This, this was my backup number that I'm going to put over here, just in case, that if we want to make it truly torturous, for that one. Okay. Ready? Okay. Yeah. Three, two, one. I had 17, oh, you have 37 galleons? 37 galleons. I had 17 galleons, 12 sickles, 27 canuts, and a trick wand. Okay, I have 37, 12, 7, and trick wand. And my backup number was three for the canuts. I'm so excited. Oh, no. It is 37 galleons, Ugh. 15 sickles, nope. three canuts, oh. and a fake wand. So we got oh the my. fake wand. So we got the fake wand, and I <laughs> had three, three as my backup and the 37, so. Boy, 37, I, I was so sold on 17. No partial credit. No partial Prepare credit. to die. Everyone has to eat a wing. <laughs> oh. right, well, I have my we got my trusty fork. So I had to, I just have a regular fork. Okay, just because I've just never a, I've never had to live a that table fork, fork life or a torque as they call it. A, ooh, mm. a torque. Okay. Um, like where do we? I'm just gonna. Oh boy. Cheers. Well, cheers. And so it begins. And so it begins. I know it's not that bad. It's sidling up. And now I was taking my first pull. Taking the first swallow. That did, that got coated my whole throat. I'm gonna get the hiccups. <laughs> it's gonna. <clears throat> it. I gotta get it out of my mouth. <laughs> this is great. It's fine. <laughs> I'm That's not. Where we plow ahead. I'm not. It's not <laughs> at all. <clears throat> Uh, ah. Oh man, I can feel beads of sweat for coming my know. face. Whew. Man, all right, I got it. Let's go. All right. Question five. Question five. Okay, third of the way. Select all that apply. Which of the following items did Ron buy at the Quidditch World Cup? A. Match programs. Match programs. Match programs. Okay. B. A green rosette. C. A crumb miniature figure. D, an Irish flag that plays the national anthem. E, an automatically cheering scarf. And F, a dancing shamrock hat. Whew, okay. How you doing? I think. I'm great, thank you. I can feel it in my uh, ears is yeah. a funny thing. <clears throat> okay. okay, in case you're wondering, there is no relief until Post show, we don't have like water or milk or ice cream or something in between well, takes. To be clear, we do, just not here. Not, not until no. way after the show is done. Yes, Jordan promised us ice cream. Okay. <clears throat> oh man, this is so tricky because you can know things. This is like I feel like, ma'am. Some of these I don't feel like are. I feel like they're very <clears throat> good Mister X. Mm hmm. And some I think other characters bought, but Ron didn't. Okay. Ugh. Okay. I think I have my answers. Do you? Okay. Yeah, I think. Oh, I'm just sweating a lot though. I, know. <laughs> I can feel it starting to come down to my, my forehead, <clears throat> or my temples. My tongue is sweating is what it feels like. Okay, here's wrong. I'm, I think I'm in. <laughs> okay. All right, you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. All I put was crumb and the dancing shamrock. I said BCF, so the dancing shamrock hat, crumb, and the green rosette. Okay, so it's whether or not, well, we'll see. Whether or not the rosette was in it. You have to get it exactly right. The correct answers are a dancing shamrock hat, a crumb miniature figure, and a green rosette. Oh no, <clears throat> means I have to eat one. <laughs> and Ben pulls ahead for the first time in a year. I took no. a deep breath and it totally- It just, it just got inhaled. It All made right. it worse. <laughs> Oh, that's a big one. Oh man. Okay, here we go. You got this. I was, I thought only Harry got the rosette. <clears throat> oh, it's okay. Okay. I'm going in. I'm gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. I'm gonna get an endorphin rush and I'll be unstoppable. Right. I'm curious if the 
compounding interest, so to speak, will start to build. Like right. if, if each subsequent wing, it's sort of like your body is prepared to handle some. You know, is it gonna get worse and worse or will you just get like adjusted to the, to the pain? I'll okay. let you know. Okay, you keep me posted. Question six. Question six. What Quidditch position did Ludo Bagman play for the Wimborne Wasps, according to Sirius? Oh. Ooh. <clears throat> I got some on my lips that time. Yeah. That's starting to burn there. I missed that the first time. Okay. I'm I'm basing this off of one comment that I'm pretty sure is correct. Okay. Okay. All right. Three, two, one. Beater. <laughs> Beater. Beater is correct. Okay. I, I remember, I think the comment is that he's like taking too many bludgers to the head or oh, something right. like that. But yeah. I suppose all players on, on the Quidditch pitch could be subject to that. That's true. Like it's not just beaters. Yeah, you wouldn't think the beaters would be attacking the other beaters that much. And it also, it also feels like, oh yeah, that's an, I've never even thought about that strategy. Yeah. Like how Knock much? them down, then you have full control of the bludgers. Right. Ooh. Okay, okay. Question seven. Question seven. What does Peeves drop on the students once they arrive at Hogwarts? In the Goblet of Fire. In Goblet of Fire. Um, oh, man. I feel like we've had this question before, but it was a different book and it was yeah. a different thing. That's exactly what I'm going to. And I think I was confusing these objects last time, but now I remember the first quiz, so I think this is right. Please. Okay. I feel like it is getting worse. Yeah. Yeah. My nostrils are starting to sweat. Um, okay. Uh, I don't know. Ready? Let's see it. Three, two, one. Water balloons. Water balloons. Water balloons. Yes. yes. This is correct. Oh man, it's like such a relief when we're right now. I know. I almost said. I almost said dung bombs. Has it? Was it? Was it ever dung bombs? Or was he not much of a? I think he mm, dung bombington. Maybe he does throw stink pellets at them at one stink point. Stink pellets. I think stink pellets, not right. dung bombs. Okay. Dung bombs was one of the multiple choice answers. Okay. Okay. Question eight. During the weighing of the wands, whose wand did Mister Ollivander use to conjure silver smoke rings? Okay, I think I got it. Three, two, one. Cedric. Crumb. Oh no. The correct answer is Cedric Diggory. Yes! Oh no! <laughs> oh, we're even. Thank oh, goodness. No. Oh no, oh no, oh no. All right, eat All up, right. bro. All right. All right. Mm. Enjoy. You've had more space between them. Mm -hmm. I feel mm -hmm. like that helps. We'll see, you're gonna get do you, are, do you hiccup with spicy food? Sometimes. sometimes. Not always, but sometimes. Yeah, I feel like if I'm eating it regularly, it's okay. I, you, oh my gosh, my tongue is starting to get like swollen. I'm <laughs> like talking poorly. <laughs> it's fine, I'm good. Are you sure? <clears throat> I'm good. <sighs> fine. Yeah, if something bad happens, you need to let us know. No, it's not, it's not like an allergic reaction. Mm. It's just pain. We're good. We're good, we got this. Okay. Question nine. What does S P E W stand for? Okay. Very distracting. Still chewing. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like that after when I was like eating my second one, I wasn't even really listening to the question. I was just like, mm, mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> we're okay. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. I said the Society for the Promotion of Elfish Welfare. The Society for the Promotion of Elfish Welfare. That is the correct answer. I do want to note, Benjamin, Elfish is spelt with an F, not a V. Okay, I'm Elvish. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. I'll let it slide this time. Uh, question 10. What is the password Harry uses to enter the prefect's bathroom? Oh, okay. I'm going to know this one. Oh, no, I don't know. Uh oh, uh oh, the comeback is alive, y'all. It's happening. It's working. Was that Anakin? That was Anakin. Was that yeah, answer? yeah. <laughs> it's working. It's working. It's working. 
I, I don't know if this is right, but this was the first thing that came to mind. I don't have a backup. So ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Pine fresh. Oh, <gasps> no. Is it lemon fresh? It does say lemon uh -oh. fresh. The correct answer is pine fresh. Yes! <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, dear. Dig in, bro. Dig All in. Right. All right. That one felt like it had like a lot of sauce. It felt juicy when you stabbed it. You know what? I was like, we're gonna do this. You know, if you're gonna be a bear, be a grizzly. You know? <laughs> if you're gonna be a badger, be a honey. Mm. <laughs> As they say. Although, I promise I won't drink anything. Oh. No, see, I brought up the honey. Yeah, you better not drink anything. Hello and welcome everybody to the scenic group where as ever, we're gonna hide Jay's honey. Okay guys, I am so excited because we've been in this office for over a year and I just realized that a mirror right back there is actually a door and we never knew. But the other thing I have to do, of course, is tell you about today's sponsor, which just so happens to be Honey. So we all shop online, right? Like in my family, I'm actually kind of famous for this very thing because I'm extremely forgetful. So I could literally be in the middle of washing dishes and run out of soap. And instead of just like putting it on a grocery list to go and get at our next haul, I will literally open my phone at that moment in order new dish soap. But one of the things that always, always, always gets me is when you get to the checkout window and there's that little box that says promo code and I don't know what it is. It drives me crazy. Like, I get it. There's a way to save money. Do I know the secret passcode? Of course not. I'm just trying to buy dish soap. But that's where Honey comes in. It is a free online shopping cart tool that will automatically scour the entire interweb for the best promo code and automatically apply it. And it works great too. I used it just the other day when buying my first ever holiday cards to send out, which by the way, way more expensive than I was expecting them to be. And the good news is Honey came through. I saved $17. If you don't already have Honey, you could just quite literally be missing out on free savings because it is literally free and installs in just a few seconds. And by downloading it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting this show in the process. I do personally use it. I wouldn't recommend it if I didn't. Again, it is absolutely free and all you have to do is head on over to joinhoney.com slash J versus B. Again, it is totally free. Downloads in just a few seconds when you head on over to joinhoney.com slash J versus B. Link is in the description down below. All right, if Ben's not even gonna be here, I'm not gonna sit in the dark next to the, 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 the goblet. It, feel, it feels bad for my mental health, which brings me to today's sponsor, BetterHelp. How's that for a segue? Guys, let me ask you, is there something interfering with your happiness or preventing you from achieving your goals? For example, a large chalice full of really hot wings. Actually, that's a pretty short-term problem, but for me, with so many responsibilities in my life, marriage, children, work, exercise, you name it, it was really hard for me to justify doing something that I enjoyed just because I personally enjoyed it. And this is something that therapy helped me out with a lot. Having someone who is external to all these facets of my life and completely unbiased helped me realize that taking some time for myself is not only allowed, but probably even beneficial to all those other areas. And BetterHelp is great because there's a broad range of expertise available, which may not be available in every area, depending on where you live. And BetterHelp is committed to making great therapeutic matches, which is why it's easy and free to change therapists at any point if you want. Visit betterhelp.com slash J versus B and join the over 2 million people who have taken charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. In fact, so many people have been using BetterHelp that they've had to start hiring new therapists in all 50 states. And we have a special Special offer for all of you J vs. Ben viewers out there to get 10% off your first month. Again, head to betterhelp.com slash J vs. B. Link is in the description down below. I'm back. Why do you smell like ice cream? No, I have I'm nothing of the sort. Why do you smell like you? Sweat. <laughs> Tears. I think it's the wings. Yeah, that makes sense. Question 11. In The Daily Prophet, they got Arthur Weasley's name wrong. What was the name they used? Oh no. My tongue is definitely starting to... Sweat. Are they at least delicious? 
The flavor is not bad for extremely spicy. This can't be right. I don't like it. I don't feel good about this one. I know, I'm... This has gotta be like post Quidditch World Cup, right? Maybe? No. Would you go multiple choice? We can go multiple choice. I'll go multiple choice. Okay. Is it A, Aaron, B, Anthony, C, Arnold, or D, Avery? Okay. I think that's my answer. Okay, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Arnold. I also said Arnold. Hey, Arnold! Hey, Arnold! Move it, football head. Isn't that also the name of... That is correct. Um, Ginny's... Pygmy Puff? Pygmy Puff? Yeah, I think it is. How you doing? I'm good. I feel like I've recovered, yeah? mostly. Yeah? Okay. Should we just eat one? Oh, Just to add to the For suspense? For why? Because, I mean, I don't know. I feel like maybe because we got the multiple choice. Yeah? I think I you could, know. like, We didn't really one. establish that. There's almost like no reason not to <laughs> then. I think if you get the multiple choice, you guys can split one. No, I'm just gonna go, I'm just go whole in. Whole hog, all right. No, you know, yeah, whole, whole chicken as they say. That was a very saucy one. Yeah, you got full sauce. I think we're doing this. I think we're fine. Maybe next time we can get hotter wings. Even hotter. Even, even a little hotter. bigger. We'll just light them on fire. Literal fire. It'll be great. I can't even feel it now. I'm good. I think I'm completely adjusted. Okay. Yeah. Question 12. Who does Sirius suspect put Harry's name in the Goblet of Fire? Okay. Answer. I think. Good. All right, ready? Yeah. Are you doing one? Cock her off. Cock her off. Cock her off indeed. Uh, Igor. Question 13, although it is unplottable, where is Beaubaton Academy of Magic widely believed to be located? Do we just need like, well. You need to draw me a map of the earth. <laughs> <laughs> this is my globe. <laughs> Use the globe in front of you. The heat in front of, the heat. Is definitely. Yeah, is it compounding? Oh yeah. <clears throat> um. <clears throat> okay, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. I said France. I said Paris, France. Uh, that is not the answer that I'm looking for. Really? More specifically, I'm looking for the Pyrenees Mountains. The Pyrenees Mountains? Correct. Uh, like Alpe d'Huez? I feel like, what's well, the Alps, not the Pyrenees. Oh yeah, that makes sense. You can tell because of the Alp part of the name. Right. Yeah. Do they go in the Pyrenees and the Tour de France? Though? They do, yeah. Okay. And Alpe d'Huez, they also go on? Yeah. Yeah. Some years. Okay. They say the word champs élysées champs élysées that's in Paris though. Where apparently Beaubaton is not. Ready? Yeah. Cheers. You went for a small one. Are you, what? Okay, well <laughs> hold on. Itsy bitsy spider. Right? How, is that better? That is better. That's chonky, all right. Oh, so big. I think they're just trying to expense lunch at this point. <laughs> I don't know to expense lunch. Here are these mountains. <coughs> what the hell <laughs> say that? I don't recall the word Pyrenees coming up in Harry Potter at all. Ooh, that one got me. I'm back. I'm back to pay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I really got the whole back of my throat with that one. All right. Two questions remain. Mm. After the second task, how much butterbeer is Winky drinking every day? Oh, no. It's their ending on the hard ones. <sighs> okay, answer. Woo! <clears throat> Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Six. <laughs> two. I'm sorry, Benjamin. The answer is six. Oh, <laughs> what a shot in the dark. I did not think it was right. Uh, <gasps> I really thought they were like, well, two, that's not that much. It's not that very strong. And we're like, is for herself. <clears throat> oh man, this is really starting to suck. Yeah. All right. Well, we only have one question left. <clears throat> okay. Oh. 
We've done the Blazon Challenge. I've Buffalo Wild Wings before. It was a long time ago. In fact, if I recall, at one point, if you did it, you got your picture on the wall. And then we came in and they were like, we actually stopped doing it. It's not really part of the restaurant anymore. But well, we can still bring you the wings and you can just time yourselves. And we were like, fine. That's what we're here for. And we all did it. Me and you and Mike and John. Yep. <clears throat> and it was way easier than expected. <laughs> because they are hot. But the adrenaline carried us through. <clears throat> then, like a I'm year glad. later, I'm they just... brought it back. They did, and we missed out. We missed, so we we did it in the gap. So add Buffalo Wild Wings and tell them that we deserve a t-shirt. Yeah. Also. Not a sponsor. Not a sponsor. I'm glad I have a mustache because you can't see how bad my nose is now running. Yeah. <laughs> and I okay. don't want to touch my face. Last question. It's an easy one, guys. What month and day is assigned to the first task? Okay. Uh, um. It's got to be. <clears throat> Cause that's when that happens. So it's gotta be uh, somewhere in here. Ooh. Okay. No, oh, man, I have no idea. Ready? Three, two, one. November 15th. November 21st. You are both incorrect. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> if you can tell me the day of the week, I'll at least get you ice cream after this. Saturday. Uh, let me tell you the date and then I'll let you guess. It was on November 24th. I'll even give you the year, 1994. That The dates are all wrong in Harry Potter. Because September 1 is always followed by a Monday. <sighs> Then, okay, give me the actual day of the week. <laughs> it has to be it's a Saturday. It's gotta be a Saturday. Right? Is it not? It is not a Saturday. That was a Wednesday, the day oh. before Thanksgiving. 94 and 2021 had the same calendar. Mm, well, maybe in real life that was the day of the week. There's many opportunities, there's many situations where, like, they always go back to school on the same day. Always seems your like your need bit. to be right about this. <laughs> Look, there's a huge article on the Harry Potter wiki about this exact thing. <laughs> this is such a big one. The upside is, I'm sure it's right one. About one question. I'm not sure oh. either of us really want them. I'm gonna give you ice cream anyway. Thank you. So, if you ever come to Roanoke, Virginia, this is blue cow ice cream. Mm. This is where you go. It really helps almost immediately. And it is so good. Oh my goodness, also not a sponsor. Just really good ice cream. Oh wow. <clears throat> Just immediately. That is like, it's so nice. We should so make the whole nice. team eat one of these. <laughs> a whole pint. That's the next challenge. No, no, no. I, I mean, uh, Blazing Wing. Oh, we should. That would be great. Oh, God. I'm going to be full of regret. <sighs> Hi, I'm Jordan. I am the Jane of all trades for Super Carlin Brothers, and I don't like spicy things. Oh, boy. Okay. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> it takes a second. <laughs> oh, your eyes are like so shiny. <laughs> Don't touch your face. <laughs> mm, ma'am. Oh, I'm so sorry we made you make so many of these. Oh, that's bad. Dad. Hello, my name is Ethan Etchill. I edit Popcorn Culture and the J and Ben vlogs. And I'm gonna eat a blazing wing. Here we go. It's pretty 
warm. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. Boy, I was trying to sit here and deadpan that. God. <laughs> <laughs> I am not sorry we made you eat these, but. <sighs> I just keeps going, doesn't it? <laughs> Yes. Now I've got the hiccups. Yes! <laughs> yeah. uh, Alright, I think, I think I'm good. Uh, nope. <clears throat> Hello, I am Tyler Carlin. I am mom's favorite, the quiz master, and I had another joke, but I can't remember it. It's like Frankie Jonas. I like sort of cooled down. <laughs> so high. <laughs> I like the idea of like a cooled down wind though, like when I'm not fresh out the fire. I don't do cold pizza. I do do cold winds. Ah! I'm good. Oh man. I am Flop Sweat. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm Riley. I'm the editor. You can tell because I'm going to put a sound effect right here. Uh, gosh. Yeah, look, the rest of us can't follow cues, right? <laughs> <actually. laughs> you can't. <laughs> All right. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kat, and you guys are idiots. Jay and I maybe just kneel down. Yep. Fake sitting on the couch. <laughs> yeah, right. Go. Is everybody in? Go, yeah, what are we saying? Uh, just gonna say on three, we'll say happy brother. Happy brother! Happy Thanksgiving from Super Carlin Brothers. Okay. Happy Thanksgiving from Super Carlin Brothers! Why would you do that? <laughs> oh my gosh! Wash your hands! <laughs> Wash your hands! Oh my gosh, you guys are insane. <laughs> And a special thank you to all these quiz masters who submitted questions for this quiz. Thank you, Adam Daniel Brurzehevi, Jason the Barbarian, Alex Darkov, Justin Shirley, Amanda Heiser, <laughs> Kari Elita, Amber Nowak, Catherine Booth, Aragalus, Caden Medwid, Asa, The Lamont Family, Ash Singh, Manny Devu, Ben, Max D, Ben Feinstein, Orion Ricochet, Ben Henderson, Randy Savage, Denise, Sammy Ray, Donna Bark, Starla, Emily Stock, Tim Egbrink, Emily West, Vincent Rinaldi, Gabby F, Wesley Walker, Hope, Wimmy Wyam Wassel, Jack Grennan, and Zane Emerson. Thank you guys all so much for your continued support of Super Carlin Brothers on Patreon. Guys, thanks so much as always for watching today's video. Don't forget to leave a like on if you haven't already and subscribe so you don't miss any future J vs. Ben action from us. If you want to see the actual hardest one we've ever taken about the Quidditch World Cup, you can check out this video right here. Or if you'd like to hear more of Tyler's voice, you can check out their podcast, Bacon and Eggs, right here. Otherwise, until next time, bye! bye.